Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the White Tails Dynasty here in Season 9 as we play the first ever neutral site game in school history. It's taken nine seasons to get to this point. But this game, we take on FAU. FAU was a two loss team last year, they finished top 10 ranked. But that's not the story here. The story is our former defensive player of the year in the original walk-ons and then defensive coordinator now turned head coach Tucker Okonkwo is now the head coach at FAU. So he will be taking over for them as they look to build a dynasty of their own as a small school. Now they come into this game 1-0, number 23 ranked in the nation. So this will be a tough game. So let's get this game kicked off at AT&T Stadium where the Cowboys play. And they will receive the opening kickoff. And they have a pretty good team of their own. And here comes FAU. Jackson is going to lead them from the shotgun. He's going to run a read option to the left side. He is more of a pocket quarterback. He picks up a block and gets free. And he's tackled by Charles Davis, the cornerback, on the other side of the field. And that's a gain of 28 to start out this game. I do want to highlight going into this game as Frankie Kai hits the running back hard in the backfield that we did actually raise the CPU quarterback accuracy up, and it's now at 25, so just keep that in mind. So here's a throw across the middle. That's Adam Payne for a gain of 10 yards, and that brings it to a third and three, another read option. This time he keeps it, and Ja'Kai Betts comes up with the tackle in the backfield. He had a really good game in game one with that pick six, and now another stop in the backfield as they settle for a very long field goal. This one's from about 58 yards, and this kick is up, and it's going to be off. I mean, way off, not even close. And we will take back over as the true freshman Colin Kurtz comes out onto the field, running Julian Gonzalez in motion, handing off to Apollo, and there's a tackle in the backfield. FAU has a really good stout defense as well. As we line up here for a second and long throw to the right side, it's Blake Wright who we thought going into this season was gonna be an impact player, a really good weapon on this offense. In his first game, he didn't really do too much, but there he gets going with a gain of 17. So here's a handoff on a second and long, and that time the defense is there for the stop, and that brings it to a third and 12. Colin throws across the middle. It's Delroy King, who is our returner, and he does occasionally play the slot. That's a gain of 16 and a first down. So now second and 12, throw across the middle. King, he can't hold on to that one, dropped. And that will happen with him. He doesn't have the greatest of hands. And that brings it to a third and 12. Colin throws deep to the end zone. And it's almost picked off by Daniel Gillett. The pressure was right there. We had to get rid of it. And in comes Alex Kagan, the All-American sophomore. He hits the three. And now we take the three-point lead here. And here comes Jackson back on an offense. They ran the read option well on the first drive, but not this time. Tamari Jamison, linebacker of the year. He gets the tackle in the backfield, loss of three yards. So second and 13, Garcia gets the catch on the right side, and he is their impact player. He uses his stiff arm to get about a gain of 11. And that brings it to a third and two. They come out with five wide. Jackson throws across the middle. Hagen gets it, beating Charles Davis in coverage, who had a terrible opening game last week versus Alabama giving up over 180 yards receiving to the outside receiver last week. So here's a read option this time, and that's a tackle by Bobo Smith in the backfield. And now third and nine from the 47. We send the blitz. Jackson gets rid of it, and that's a wide open Garcia. He finds his man tackled by Anderson Reed from behind. It's a gain of 21 and a first down. So running the re-option once again. Here is Jackson keeping it, and he gets up the middle. He throws a stiff arm to Will Copes and gets to about the 10. And now FAU is driving again as they find themselves at the 10-yard line. Another read. Jackson, he will walk in. It's a touchdown 11 yards out. And FAU takes the 7-3 lead. I'm going to have to do these neutral site games even more. This is a lot of fun here in the first quarter. And here comes the freshman Colin Kurtz. This time he's going to hand off to Apollo, who's got an open hole. He gets lit up, though, in the hole. That's a gain of 10 yards as that brings it to a second and in inches. Quick throw to the right side. It's Jasper Sweet. He's got 98 speed. Look at him in open field. Gain of 10 yards. 
and another first down for this offense. So the safety creeps up for FAU. We get rid of it quickly to the left side. It's Ramel Williams. He fights off a tackler. Gain of 14 yards and a first down for the sophomore tight end. So now second and 10 throw to left side and it is deflected at the line. And there we go, third and 10. We're just out of field goal range, maybe just at the end of his range. Alex Kagan throw to the right side. It's Delroy again, 13 yards for him. And a first down is now here we are with the back, back on offense and throw across to the right side. And it's caught. Julian Gonzalez goes in untouched. They send the blitz. We had the full house pistol formation on that play and wide open was Julian Gonzalez. They were not expecting us to pass that ball. And now we take the 10 to seven lead. So here is Jackson once again, keeping it to the left side. He doesn't have much speed, but the blocking is there. Gain of 19 and a first down. So pass the 50, draw a play, and it stopped in the backfield. A really old villain is there with a whole lot of white tails. That was just great defense on that one. As that brings it to a second and long, five wide. Jackson throws left side, almost picked off by Yarbrough, but Thompson ends up with it and gets upfield. Gain of 27 before the hit by Adam Williams, and it's a first down. As now they're inside a field goal range this time. Jackson gets lit up. That's Adam Williams with two other guys. I mean, just straight demolishing them. That had no chance. So now third and seven. This time we try to send the blitz off the edge. Jackson throws to the right side. It's Denzel Graham who gets over and stops Hagen before the first down marker. Fourth and one. And they will actually settle for the field goal. Not going for it. And it's a 10-10 to -10 game here in the second quarter. So six minutes left here in the first half. Play action fake. Kurt stays in the pocket. Rolls back out to the left side. And he has some room and he will die for the first down marker. Gain of 12 yards. That escapability of Colin Kurtz. He is mobile too. And it's a first down. So second and nine this time. Kurtz tries to air it out long to Jasper Sweet. And it's going to be picked off by Gillette. And there is the first turnover of the game. Colin Kurtz threw two interceptions in the first one. And I don't know what's up with the uh, CPU or the user catching on that one. They did not let us go up for the catch on that one. And it's an interception. And out comes Lawrence Jackson this time, but trying to run the read option. And that's a loss of one yard. And that eventually brings it to a third and 10. Screen pass out to left side. Taylor tries to fight forward, but he can't get around Barry Willis on that one. It's only a gain of seven. And we do force the punt as our offense comes back out onto the field, trying to make up for that turnover. So still a 10-10 game here with three and a half minutes left here in the first half. Colin Kurtz from the pistol. He's going to roll out to the right side. He's going to try to find Ramel Williams on a third down. And that was just thrown to the ground. And now FAU comes back out on offense inside their 20. So here is Jackson now. Three wide receivers to the left side. They're going to throw that way. He's got Sanchez, who only gets a gain of three. And now this has turned into a great defensive game here with this 10-10 tie. Throw to left side, third and four. And it's stopped by Adam Williams right before the first down marker. And we do force another punt. Both teams are punting a lot here in this second quarter. So first and 10, lob to left side. It's going to be caught by Blake Wright, 15 yards for him. And remember, he is a big body guy. I want to get him going downfield as he will win a lot of 50-50 balls as here's a throw out to left side. That's Apollo, gain of four. He gets pushed out of bounds. And that eventually brings us to a third and five. Throw to the right side. It's caught by Michael Bradbury, gain of seven. And there we go, moving the chains once again. Let's see if we can milk this clock down, not give them another possession. So Kurtz throws to the sideline. That time, it is Blake Wright. He's got both feet in bounds. 13 yards, his third reception of the first half. And now this clock winds down inside of 40 seconds left here in the first half. Kurtz scrambles. He picks up a block downfield by Ramel Williams and uses his stiff arm, getting to about the one-yard line, maybe the two. And now first and goal. We hand off Apollo. He's in. Touchdown. Two yards out. And there we go. We take the lead here right before halftime, 30 seconds left. FAU is going to try to put some points on the board. They have all three timeouts, so they have enough time. So here's Jackson back it onto the field. Throw to the right side. Nick Thompson, gain of seven as they burn their first timeout. 
So that eventually brings it to a third and three. They try the read option again. Jackson swallowed up. We're going to call a timeout now. There's 18 seconds left with two timeouts. I think that's well than more than enough time. And we actually end up with a not good return here as we try to air it out with 10 seconds. Michael Bradbury, one-on-one. -on -one. He goes up and gets it in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And look at the athleticism of Michael Bradbury. We know he has the best hands on the team, but that time, that may have just gave me ideas because if he can do that more often, he is going to be an awesome weapon on this offense. And we actually do settle for the field goal here. And that's a great big play to end the first half to Michael Bradbury, the veteran. And it is 20 to 10. So here we go to start the second half with the ball. We are in control with the 10 point lead and we'll have possession. Here's Delroy King, the red shirt freshman breaks to the outside and he does just get tripped up at about the 36. And now here we go back on an offense. We're gonna start out with the screen to the left side. Blake Wright gets tackled in the backfield, loss of three yards. And Bradbury couldn't hold the block on that one. And that eventually brings us to a third and 13. FAU sends the blitz and we throw it to Jasper Sweet who gets 13. He maybe needed 13 and a half yards on that one. And now we have to punt the ball away here as here comes FAU back on offense. Screen pass, Hagen breaks free after a broken tackle and he's down the left sideline and he gets tackled at about the 47. And that's a big gain. Jackson has only missed one pass so far. So now a second and long after a penalty. This time Garcia gets it and he uses his stiff arm and look at him fighting forward. Gain of 15. So now at about the 36 yard line, third and in inches throw and they do convert it. Sanchez again, first down here for FAU. So they eventually get it to another third down. This time a screen pass out to the right side and that's their running back Taylor out of the backfield. He breaks the tackle and gets pushed out of bounds by Ja'Kai Betts. And it's a first down here inside the 10 here for FAU as they try to stay in this game. Read option, Jackson keeps it and it's another touchdown. We're just so used to uh, committing to that running back because we're not expecting Lawrence Jackson to really keep it. He doesn't have much speed. And now 20 to 17, they're right back in this game. So here's Colin Curse this time running the option out to left side and he pitches it to Apollo and he picks up a gain of 18 and it's a first down run for him. So now second and six this time. We're gonna hand it right back to Apollo. He breaks the tackle in the hole and gets lit up by the safety gain of four yards. And that brings us to a third and two, another handoff. This time Julian Gonzalez checks in and he picks up two and it's a first down. As now here we go past the 50 yard line, set up here for a third and six. Throw across the middle, Colin Kurtz is gonna find Bradbury again. Bradbury is really, really good. He gets open a lot and he's definitely doing well, good things on the outside. But here's a throw across the middle and it's picked off again. Blake Wright was the intended target, but we had two receivers in the same area. That maybe would have been picked off either way. The safety was there over the top as well. And man, two interceptions here in his first two games in each of his first two games for Colin Kurtz. He's a little too aggressive, I'd say so far, but I think we can calm that down a little bit. Deshaun Wilson was more of a game manager, which is the reason why we didn't take many risks. He didn't have the arm strength that Kurtz had. But here we are back on defense and look at the stop there, Bo Bo Smith. He gets the tackle and we force the punt once again. So we're back on an offense. So here is Julian Gonzalez with the handoff up the middle. He's gonna get a couple of carries in here in the second half. That's a gain of nine. As Apollo St. Vincent checks back in here for a third and three, a handoff up the middle and he gets stopped and it's about a gain of two. He maybe needed three. And that brings it to a fourth and in inches. We're in field goal range, but this is where you go for it here. Try to get a bigger lead here. Handoff, Julian gets in and that's a gain of nine for him and a first down as he remains in the game as we run Delroy King in motion after a fresh set of downs. Kurtz scrambling out to the right side, gets rid of it to Gonzalez, and it's about a gain of six. And now third and three, running Delroy King in motion, running the triple option. Kurtz tries to fight forward, and he gets stopped that time, gain of two yards, and another fourth down opportunity. We're going to go for it. We need to stretch this lead to two scores. Handoff, Julian fights forward. It's a touchdown, six yards out. There we go. The 10 point lead is back 
And we are back out on top here with five and a half minutes left here in this game. And let's see if Tucker Oconquo has some tricks up his sleeve to run this offense. Here's a throw to left side, and that is a deflection. Maverick Yarbrough, maybe his receiver wasn't looking for that one. And now third and nine, Jackson Got from the he. pocket. Doesn't have enough time. He is swallowed up by Frankie Kai, the junior. And there we go, Frankie making a big play. And now here we go back on an offense. We're going to try to run this ball a little bit to run this clock out. And there is Julian Gonzalez. He gets about a, maybe a gain of one. And that eventually brings us to a third and 10. FAU sends a blitz throw to left side. Bradbury's got it. He breaks the tackle and gets tackled from behind. Gain of 13. He's having a huge game for us here and a first down. So quick throw across the middle. This time it's respect and he's gonna get there 16 yards. And another quick throw for a first down. Kurtz has a really quick release with his passes. Another throw, a quick throw. Ramel Williams, the other tight end. Gain of 12. And here we go, FAU is starting to burn those timeouts. So now, quick throw to the left side. Once again on a third down, and that's three straight third down conversions. Michael Bradbury this time. We're at about the one yard line. So under a minute left here, second and goal. Throw, and it's caught. Morgan Williams, the full back. That's a touchdown, and that one will put this game out of reach. 34 to 17 as we go into Jerry's world and get the win versus FAU, an up and coming team. And Colin Kurtz does throw two touchdowns, also two interceptions though. Gotta clean up those turnovers, but I am encouraged by him. I may, Maybe throwing the ball 41 times just isn't the solution. Need to probably run the ball a little bit more. Apollo got 11 carries. Gonzalez got eight carries, but the run game definitely was not working. FAU had a good game plan for stopping the run this game. And just looking at our team as a whole, I think our defense really, really played well, especially FAU had a good quarterback, and we had a good receiving game also from Bradbury. He bailed us out with a couple of good catches, especially that one towards the end of half, just getting three points on the board. And our defense balled out as well. The sack totals aren't there. Frankie Kai had a sack. But I think we're playing sound football. Jackson, he went 23 for 26 in this game. Didn't miss many passes. Like I said, I put that, I made that adjustment to the quarterback accuracy slider. So it definitely probably helped there. And next week, it doesn't get any easier. As we will take on Kansas, who is 2-0, and they have the best quarterback in the nation, Dane Webb, who took home the O'Brien trophy last year. And here we go. Adam Miller's old coach team. But this is a different looking Kansas team that we're used to seeing in real life. This team can play, led by Dane Webb. You don't want to miss it. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. It don't even matter though. Nope. Hey, it don't even matter.